All right, everybody, sit up straight. Looking right up here. We're watching for the best behavior. Boys, I need you sitting up straight. Girls, I need you sitting up straight, paying attention, and listening tonight. That's for sure. Now, we've been learning this week about Joseph. Who's our main character? Joseph. And Joseph, he was number 11 of the 12 sons of Jacob. What number was he? He was number 11. And last night we told the story of Joseph and how his brothers and him were watching the sheep and he had to go tell his daddy their evil report. And I told you how what I thought might have happened. How they um, took some of daddy's sheep, sold them and went and had to town to party had a good time and left the responsibilities and left their job and didn't. then Joseph had to go tell his dad their evil report. And then last night we talked about the, how Joseph's coat of many colors and how it told a story and how our gospel band and, and the wordless book tells a story. Who got their gospel band on tonight? Who's got it on? Hold it up in there. There you go. Good job. Put your gospel band down. What's the first color in the gospel band? Gold. Gold. And gold stands for what? Heaven. Man, the streets of gold, walls of jasper, gates of pearl. But there's the next color. What's the next color? Black. Black stands for what? Sin. And sin is not allowed in heaven. Sin is when we break God's word, we lie, we cheat, we steal, we disobey. And because of that sin, we don't deserve to go to heaven. We deserve to go to hell. But the good news is there's the next color. What's that next color? Red. And red stands for the what? Blood of Jesus. And how Jesus shed his blood when he died on the cross to pay for your sin, pay for mine. Rose again, and how that can wash away our sins. And that brings us to the next color, which is the Y. And that stands for forgiveness. How we can have our sins forgiven if we ask Jesus to forgive us of our sins, to take us to heaven when we die. If we do that, we need to do the last color, which is what color? The green. And it stands for what? Grow. How we're supposed to grow as a Christian. We're supposed to go to church, read our Bible, obey. We're supposed to witness and tell others about him. So we're learning this week about Joseph. I need Joseph to come on in here if he's ready, Mr. Red or Leo. Send him on in here. Joseph's ready. All right. Come on in here, fellas. Yes, indeed. Now, something happened to Mr. Joseph. Something happened indeed. Come on up here for me. All right. Now, this Joseph, won't you stand over here for me? All right. You, sir, stand right here for me. Something happened to Joseph. His brothers took him and they got jealous. Remember last night I had him wearing that coat of many colors. It had all the different colors of our gospel band in it. They got jealous. I told you that. They got envious. And they decided, we're tired of this fellow. We want to get rid of him. So they took Joseph, threw him in a pit, and they were going to leave him there for dead. They were going to kill him. But then they said, no, let's not do that. Let's sell him into slavery. So they took him out, and they sold him as a piece of property, which is a horrible thing. They took and sold him into slavery, and he went down to Egypt and was sold on the auction block. This auctioneer got up there and said, All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a, a, a Hebrew slave here for you. He's strong. Uh, show him your muscles. Well, he's sort of strong, and uh, uh, he, he's, he's able-bodied, willing to work. Who's ever got that cap gun? Let's put him away. Boys, if you've got a cap gun, let's put that down. No, no, no distractions right now. Now, listen. So he, so they're saying, all right, who wants to buy him? How about 30? How about 40? How about 50? How about 60? And the price maybe ran up. Well, a man was there at the auction block. man was there looking for a slave, and he decided to buy Joseph. And his name was Potiphar. What was his name? Potiphar. That's a little bit of a hard, weird name. So I like to call him this, Mr. Potty. <laughs> so he's going to be Mr. Potty. Who's he going to be? Mr. Potty. All right, Mr. Potty, he came and he bought Joseph. He bought him. He owned him. He was his servant. He was his slave. And Joseph had to do whatever Potiphar said. He had a job to do, and he had to do it. And, and he had to do it no matter whether he wanted to or not. He had a job to do. So Mr. Potiphar, he might have told Joseph. He brought him home, and he said, all right, you. All right, you. All right, you. I want you to go. I want you to go. Out to the barn. Out to the barn. And clean the stalls. And clean the stalls. Get rid of all the manure. Get rid of all the manure. Ooh, that's a stinky job. That's a smelly job, especially in the hot summer heat. Oh, my goodness. But you know what? Joseph did it right away, I believe. I believe he jumped right at it. He said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your wish. Your wish. And my command. And my command. I'll do it. I'll do it. He went off and did that. He came back. He said, what do you need now, sir? What do you need now, sir? He said, hmm. Hmm. He said, go clean the bathroom. Go clean the bathroom. Scrub the toilets. 
Scrub the toilets. Mop the floors. Mop the floors. You talk about a stinky, nasty job, but you know what? I believe he did it. He said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll do it. I'll do it. Right away. Right away. He went off and did that job. And Joseph earned Mr. Potty's trust. Mr. Potter, he could put his trust in, he could believe in, and he slowly started earning his trust. And you know what? The Bible says something very interesting there, Cowboys, Cowgirls. In the Bible, it says, this lost man, this man that wasn't saved, he wasn't a Christian, nothing like that. The Bible says he saw that God was with him. Can others see that Jesus is with you? Are you being a light? Are you being a good example like Joseph was being? Oh, man, Joseph, he was valuable. He had a high price tag because he was obedient. He did what he was told to do, when he was told to do it, with the right attitude. Man, he did a lot of good things. He said, Joseph. Joseph. Clean my feet. Clean my feet. Talk about a nasty job, clean my feet. Oh, they had to do that. Servants back then, they had to clean people's feet. He said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll do it. I'll do it. Right away. Right away. Man, he was he did that. And Potiphar started giving him more responsibilities and more responsibilities until guess what? He is in charge of his whole household. He's in charge of all his land, all his farms, all his property, all his windmills, everything. He's in charge of that. And the Bible says he didn't know what he had except what he ate at the supper table. He didn't know how much money he had. He didn't know how much gain he was had or was losing. Because Joseph was in charge of it all. He earned his trust. He blessed him. God blesses hard work, Cowboys, Cowboys. Let me tell you, God blesses you. When you work hard, when you put your effort into it, when you give it your all, God blesses that. But there was something that happened, though. Man, you think that's a great story. Man, Joseph, he was in this bad situation. He got thrown into that pit. Then he gets sold to Potiphar. But something happened. He gets promoted. Somebody came out. The Bible says he was in charge of everything in Potiphar's house, Mr. Potty's house. But there was one thing that he was not in charge of. There was one thing in Mr. Mr. Potty's house that he wasn't in charge of. And that was his wife, Mrs. Potty. All right, Mrs. Potty, come on out. Mrs. Potty, okay, hang on just a second. Let me go get her. She's, she's got to be back here. Come on. Oh, there you are, Mrs. Potty. Come on out now. Come on. Everybody's waiting on you now. Come on. Oh, now, don't be shy. Come on. It's going to be fine. Yeah, come on out here, Mr. Come on, come on, let's get going here. All right, okay, okay, here we go. I'm here! Oh, yes, I'm here, honey! Yes, my sugar booger! I'm here with your buddy. Good to see you, my love. Oh. And she came out. She was one of the most beautiful ladies in all the land. And uh, she came out, and he said, Hello, darling. Hello, darling. How you doing? How are you doing? Sugar? Sugar. Oh, I'm doing wonderful. I missed you, honey. Oh, it's so good to see you. I'm so glad you're back. Oh, yay, yay, yay. Oh. And uh, he said, I brought you something. I brought you something. I bought a slave. I brought a slave. He's a Hebrew. He's a Hebrew. His name's Joseph. His name is Joseph. She looked at him. Ooh. Aren't you a tall drink of water? Oh, ah, you're so strong. It's, oh, he's very nice. And Mr. Potiphar, maybe he said, now I gotta leave. Now I gotta leave. I gotta go on a trip. I gotta go on a trip. Joseph's in charge. Joseph's in charge. You need anything? You need anything? Ask him. Ask him. He'll do it. He'll do it. I trust him. I trust him. Oh, but Mrs. Potty got her eyes on him. Now, Mr. Potiphar, I want you to go sit in that chair for me. Maybe he went away on a trip. Maybe he left for a little bit. The Bible doesn't really tell us. But something happened. Mrs. Potty got eyes for Joseph. And she wanted to, him to be to her as a husband. She wanted to play kissy face with him. And she he was a married woman. She started trying to tempt him to do wrong. She tried to tempt him to do what wasn't right. And she called out to Joseph and tried to get him to sin with her. And said, oh, Joseph, could, could you help me out? Um, I need you to come down to my bedroom with me and hang a picture on the wall. It, it, it needs to be hung up there, and uh, you can help me out with that. But he, he was on her wives. He knew what was going on. The Bible says he resisted. He said, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I can't. I can't. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. He said, I'll get someone else to do it. I'll get someone else to do it. Oh, right. I want to play kissy face with you. You won't play kissy face. I'll try it again. And so she tried. Bible says she tried and tried. Oh, Joseph, can you help me? My dress is come on the butt from the back. And I, I need some help with that. Could you help me out? Trying to tempt him, trying to get him to do wrong. And he said, no, ma'am. 
No, ma'am. I'm busy. I'm busy. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, man, she got upset. Cowboys, Cowboys, let me tell you something. When you get married, it's for life, and it's to one person. Not supposed to be going around kissing and having boyfriends and girlfriends when you're married. It's to one person. You're supposed to stay faithful to that one person. The world's got it messed up now. They think, oh, you can get married, divorced, married, divorced. No, no, no. It's one person. That's it. Now, something happened. Everybody sit up straight. Listen. Shh. Something happened. One day she had enough. One day Miss Potty's like, I'm going to get this guy. I want him. I'm going to get him. She said, Joseph, I've got hand with you. I want you to play kissing face with me. Now you play kissing face with me. I want a big old kiss from you, buddy. And I'm going to get it. And she started to chase Joseph. Turn to chase. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. You get back. I'm going to get back. Oh, get back. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. And she got a hold of Joseph. But you know what? He kept running. He was running from sin. And he ran out of that jacket. She took it. Oh, you won't play kissy face with me. Well, all that love that she thought she had for Mr. Joseph turned into rage, turned into anger. She started caterwauling and screaming. Ah, somebody help me, somebody help me. And the servants came in. They said, man, what's wrong? Oh, I was attacked. This man came in and attacked me. He tried to take advantage of me. He tried to play kissy face with me. I'm a married woman. Hey, she tried to attack me. And I, I screamed and he ran out of here and I grabbed his jacket. And I got his jacket right here to prove who it was. It all told a lie on Joseph. And they said, that's Joseph's jacket. <gasps> Mr. Potty came home. Mr. Potty came home. And he came home and he said, hey. Hey. Sugar babe. Sugar babe. <gasps> and uh, he's like, how you doing? How you doing? She told him. Oh, buddy, it was terrible. This man came and he attacked me. He tried to get back at me. And he did awful things to me. And I, I cried and screamed and he ran out of here. And I grabbed his jacket as he was leaving. And, and, and this is jacket. He said, that's Joseph's jacket. That's Joseph's jacket. Oh, and Potiphar got mad. Potiphar got angry. He called for Joseph. He had him thrown in prison. All because of that lie that, that woman told about Joseph. But Joseph didn't stay. If you might think, oh, that's terrible. That's bad. Hey, the story don't end there. Now, fellas, you all did a good job. Give them a big hand for me. You all can exit to the back. Go ahead, fellas. Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to get this ridiculous outfit off. Uh, now, listen. Cowboys, Cowboys, everybody sitting up straight. We're still watching for the best paid. Joseph, you might say, that's awful. Joseph thrown in prison for something he didn't even, he didn't do any wrong. He did right. Well, God still blessed him. God blesses us. And we're going to find out tomorrow night the rest of the story about Joseph. Now listen, Cowboys, Cowboys, shh. You have a purpose in your heart like Joseph did to do right. Hey, he was all alone in that, in, that, in that country. There was no family members watching over him. He didn't have no brothers, no sisters, no aunts, no uncles, no parents making sure he did right. No, he was all alone. He could have sinned. He could have done whatever he wanted. But he purposed in his heart to depart from evil. He didn't stay near sin. He ran away from it. He got as far from it as possible. Man, he, he ran from sin. That's what we need to do. We need to stay away from it. We don't need to get close to it. We ought to stay as far away as possible. Run from sin. Like we were learning that Bible verse. Depart from evil. We're not supposed to stay near it. We're supposed to stay far away from it. Now, Joseph was thrown in prison. He was bound up. I need Brett to come on up here for me. He's going to help me out tonight. Representing somebody that was bound up. That was a uh, sinner. That something bad happened to him. Come on up here for me, partner. He's going to represent... Someone that was thrown in prison. He's going to represent a thief. Who does he represent? A thief. thief. Who does he represent? A thief. thief. He's going to represent a thief. He was a thief. I don't know what he stole. He might have stole money. He might have stole jewelry. He might have stole property from people. I don't know. But one thing we knew about him, he was a bad thief. Because he got caught. You're a bad thief when you get caught, okay? And sin always catches up with us. We talked about that last night. Hey, there's a price for sin. There's a punishment for sin. He was a thief, and he got caught. And one day they took him, threw him in prison, and they, then they said, all right, we're going to crucify him. Oh, boy. That's what Jesus was crucified on. He was crucified on the cross. Well, I need you to come up here for me. Deputy, why don't you help him out here? He's going to get up here on this cross. Now, in the Bible, Jesus was crucified with nails. Nailed to his hands. 
and his feet to the cross. Undoubtedly, that's what happened to that thief. But some thieves were tied when you were crucified. They would tie you up. They, they sometimes tie, tied them up. They sometimes bound them with different things, not always with nails, but most of the time that's what it was. Well, they took this thief, and being on a cross, being crucified, was one of the most excruciating things that could ever happen. Let's take 2,000 points off the board, Mr. Rudd. These boys are talking too much. They're going to lose some points. Shh. No talking, boys. Sit up straight. Listen. Okay. So they tied, the, the, they, they bound, and they nailed that thief to the cross. And he just so happened to be one of the thieves that was... By Jesus. The Bible says when Jesus was crucified on the cross, he was crucified in between two thieves. He was one of the thieves. He had done wrong, just like you and I have done wrong. We talked about that last night with the black, black color. It represents sin. For all have sin and come short of the glory of God. Every cowboy, every cowgirl, cowboy kid of them has sin. We've broken God's commandments. You might be saying, well, I'm not a, not a thief. I'm not robbing a bank like that guy might have done. I'm not trying to steal people's money. But you know what? The Bible says all men are liars. That's a sin. Every one of us has lied. Every one of us has disobeyed our parents. Every one of us has sinned. You can't sit there thinking, oh yeah, I'm Mr. Perfect. I'm Mr. Right. I, I know. No, 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 no. You were all sinners. That's what the Bible says. <laughs> and because of that sin, there's a price. Just like that man was crucified on that cross, there's a price for our sin. We deserve to die and go to hell. Oh, that's the bad news. We don't want to die and go to hell. I wouldn't want my worst enemy to die and go to hell. Just like he had a price for his sin, for stealing, he was crucified. We have a price for our sin. We deserve to die and go to hell. But the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, Romans 6.23. But the good news is, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And while Jesus was dying on that cross, this man believed on Jesus. He realized, hey, this is the Son of God. This isn't a made-up person. This isn't somebody who's trying to bring glory to himself. He is the Son of God, and he believed on Jesus for forgiveness of sins to take him to heaven. And he cried out to Jesus. He said a statement to him. He cried out to Jesus, and he said... Remember me. Remember me. When you come. When you come. Into your kingdom. Into your kingdom. He said, hey, I want you to remember. When you, when you, after you die, he said, you're going to rise again. I want you to remember me when you go to heaven. And, and I believe on you and I want you to say, man, that's what he was doing. You know what Jesus said? He said, oh, buddy, I wish I could help you out. But we haven't got time to get you off this cross and take you to church and so you can go to church on a daily basis and join the church and, and then put money in the offering. If we had time to do that, hey, then I'd remember you. No. Jesus didn't say that. He, he cried out to Jesus and he said, remember me. Remember me. He said, oh, I wish I could, but, you know, well, we don't have time to get you off this cross and take you out and do good deeds and help old ladies across the street and, and do community service and pick up trash along the interstates and, and, and work in food banks. If we had time to do that for you to do good works, then I could take you to heaven with me. No, he didn't say that. Because there's only one way to heaven. He, he cried out to Jesus and he said, remember me. Remember me. And he said, oh, I wish I could. Jesus, I said, I wish I could. But man, you, there's no way you can get off this cross and go get baptized. you got to dunk you in the water for you to be able to go to heaven with me. I, I'm sorry, but I can't do that. No, Jesus didn't say that. Because all those ways are man's ways of going to heaven. God's way to heaven is one way. The way, the truth, and life. Jesus. Jesus plus nothing. Hey. Jesus looked on that man. He said, remember me. Remember me. He called on him, believing on him for salvation. And Jesus, while he was hanging on that cross, while he was going through so much pain, so much torment, your mind can't comprehend it. And as he was dying on that cross, saving all of us, he saved that man from hell. And he said, today, hey, you'll be with me in paradise. Today, I'm going to save you. I'm getting ready to die here in a little while. And I'm, we're going to go to heaven. And I'm going to take you with me. That day, that man was bound, and he died physically on that cross. The Bible says he died on that cross. But guess what? He might have died physically, but he did not die spiritually. And that day, Jesus set him free from all his sins. I'm free! Look at that! His rope, he's not bound anymore by those ropes. When Jesus saves somebody, he sets them free and takes away all their sins. Buddy, you did a good job for me. Give him a big hand. He did a good job. <laughs> Cowboys, cowgirls, there's two people in here right now. Those that are on the way to heaven. Those that are on the way to hell. Those that have believed on Jesus, asking him to forgive them of their sins like that thief did on the cross. Those that haven't. Which one are you? Do you have a memory of 
asking Jesus to forgive you your sins, to take you to heaven when you die. If you don't, you need to take care of that tonight. Shh. Every head bowed, every eye closed, nobody looking. Would you all do this for me? Every head bowed, every eye closed, nobody looking. Workers, you're the only ones looking right now. Everybody else, bow your heads, close your eyes. This is very important. This is a very, very important time. So I need every head bowed. I need every eye closed. Nobody looking around. Shh. <laughs> Who's here tonight saying, Capital KW? If I die right now, I know for sure, 100%, without a doubt, that I will go to heaven. And I remember asking Jesus to save me from my sins. If that's you, would you raise your hand high in the air so I can see it? If you remember doing that, amen. I see many hands tonight. Praise the Lord. You can put your hands down. I hope you weren't raising your hand because, oh, my neighbor's raising it. I better raise it. No, no, no. You raised your hand because you remember asking Jesus to save you from your sins. And you know by doing that, you're on your way to heaven. The head's about nice closed. Workers, if you see somebody looking right now, scratch them off the list for best behavior awards. Every head bowed, every eye closed. This is very important. Is there one here tonight saying, Cowboy KW, I do not know for sure when I die, I'm going to heaven. I've never asked Jesus to save me, but I want to do that. If that's you, would you simply raise your hand high in the air so I can see it? If you've never done that before, but you want to do that tonight, okay. If you've got your hand raised, I want you to look up at Cowboy KW. Could you do that for me? If you've got your hand raised. Now, you're not raising it because all everybody else is doing it. You're raising it because you're sitting there and you're saying, I've never asked Jesus to save me. If I died tonight, I'm not for sure I'd go to heaven. If your hand is raised and you're looking at me, shh, I want you to stand to your feet real quietly. If your hand is raised and you're looking at me, shh. Okay, your hand is raised and you're looking at me and you're standing. I want you to put your hands down. I want you to walk right to the back to Sheriff Hooker. Could you do that for me? If you're standing, you raise your hand. I want you to walk right to the back of Sheriff Hooker. This is not time to go get candy, not time to go to the bathroom, not time to go to the bus. We want you to raise your hand and go to the back if you've never asked Jesus to save you before and you do not know for sure when you die you're going to heaven. We want you to understand that. We want you to comprehend that. We want you to know that when you die, you're going to heaven. That's the most important decision you could ever make. That's for sure. Shh. Heads bowed, eyes closed. Don't be looking. Who's here tonight said, Brother KW, I want to decide to depart from evil. I want to depart from evil like Joseph did. Run from sin, not stay around sin, not be close to sin, but run from it. If that's you, would you raise your hand in the air so I can see it? Oh, amen. Praise the Lord. Many hands, many hands. Amen. Put your hands down. I'm going to pray for you now. Dear Jesus, I love you. Thank you for every hand that was raised for salvation. Lord, I beg you, Holy Spirit, do work in hearts. Lord, there might be some tonight that are too little. They don't understand what it means to be saved. But Lord, I hope there's a few tonight that do understand what it means to be saved, and they would call on you, asking you to save them from their sins. Lord, help those that raise their hand and says, I want to do right, and I want to depart from evil. I want to stay around sin. I don't want to be even close to it. I want to run from it like Joseph did. Help us, Lord, to decide to do that with your power, with your strength. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right. We've got, oh, she's the one who brought the most, just one girl brought the most visitors. Okay. Okay, so we've got to announce this one girl brought the most visitors tonight, and she gets to go uh, do our virtual reality flight. Her name is Michelle. Where's Michelle at? She, she walked in the back. Okay, all right. So if one of the workers could go, uh, as soon as she's done being dealt with, we could talk to her and get her. That'd be wonderful. Thank you, Miss Loretta. All right, there we go. Okay, Miss Barb, let's play our game. All right, who's ready to win some points tonight? Let me hear you. Thousand points. Ooh. Now the Cowboys. The Cowboys killed us last night, Cowgirls. Do you think you can beat them tonight? You think you can? All right. How many Cowboys think they're gonna win again? You All right. So we're gonna. For those who were not here last night, just a couple rules. I'm gonna look for the person that's the fastest, raising their hand in the air, and not saying ooh me me. Um, don't shout out the answer. If I hear a cowgirl shout out the answer, I'm going to go to the other side and vice versa. And then when someone's answering, they have five seconds. And if I hear someone whisper the answer, we had a lot of that last night. So I'm going to really try to 
make sure I'm watching. If I hear someone whisper on the girl's side, I'm going to go to the boys and vice versa, okay? So please don't do those things. And then you get to come up here. We're playing Stagecoach Express again. You get to pick one of the strong boxes. There's a lot of points up there, but there's two bad guys, and you can keep picking as long as you want. But then you run the risk of getting either the snake, he wipes out all your points, or getting the bandit, he gives it to the other team. All right, then, whenever you want to stop, you got to get them safe into the bank where no more bandits or snakes can touch them. So you have to come up here and pick one of these. And there's three safes in the, those five cards. And there's a gold bar. That means you get all your points plus extra 100,000. But there's a storm. If you hit a storm, all your points are gone. All right, so you ready? Let's start with our hands on our legs. Let's see who's going to be the fastest. I'm watching. Now, Cowboy Kenobi has said this both nights, so I think someone's going to know the answer. What was Joseph's dad's name? You are so fast. Somebody has got to beat this guy right here. You sat in the same spot last night. You were the fastest. What was Joseph's dad's name? No good guess, but that's not the answer. Do you know the answer? Jacob, good job. All right, come on up, cowgirl. All right, let's see what she's going to get. See if the cowgirls can. You need a good start because you got to win. you got to win tonight. 20,000. Remember, you can stop at any time, but, or you can keep going, whatever you want. All right. Cowboys, you can cheer. Snake, snake, snake. Oh, 70,000. You're going to stop? Okay, she's going to play it safe. So she gets it safe. She gets 90,000. Oh, no. She got the storm. I'm sorry, cowgirls. Man, and here I thought you were going to start off with a bang. All right, it's all right. We still got a lot of questions. You ready for the next question? Okay, now this one is a, might be a little bit of a challenge, but I really think you can do it. I want to know if, now start with your hands down. I want to know if anyone can say all the colors on the band and what they mean. All right, I saw a cowboy again. I think it was this guy in, yep, yeah, you. Stand up and say each color in, what's the first color? Yellow, and what does it mean? Now nobody shout it out loud. Oh, there is? Okay, sorry. Okay, so you're, you're good. Heaven, good job, you said the first one. What's the next one? What's the next color? Let's go by color. Black, and what does that signify? Oh, not quite. You're really close, buddy. Okay, let me come to the cowgirl side. I bet you could say them all, but that, you're just off on that one answer. Let's see. This cowgirl in the red shirt. Yep, you just look down at your shirt. Stand up and start with the first one. Gold. Good. Uh-huh. Very good. Very good. Woo, good job. All right, come on up here. All right, let's see if we can get some points in somebody's bank. All right, what's she going to get? Now just point to it, let him pull out. Whoa, 100,000. You can keep going or stop. She's going to keep going. Double, next to her double if you want to pick two more. It's up to you. Okay, good choice. You're going to pick again. 30,000. Double, that's 60. She's going to stop. Wise choice. All right, come on. Storm, storm, gold. Oh, save. Get some candy. Good job. All right, we got some points on the board. 160,000 to zero. Next question. Ready? What did they throw Joseph into? The brothers. Let's see, how about, let's get a little guy answer. How about this guy right here? What did they, what did his brothers throw him into? Good job, a pit, come on up here. All right, cowboy, you're gonna get some points on the board for your team. Now that doesn't count, because you don't got no points. So you got him out of the way. All right, what's he gonna get? 50, that's a good one. Now they're still in the lead, but you can stop if you want or keep going. He's gonna play it safe. He said, I don't wanna get a snake. All right, what are you gonna get? Go, 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 storm, 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 storm. Save, good job, buddy, all right. Closing the gap a little bit, catching up to 
for the cowgirls? Okay, you ready for the next one? What did they sell Joseph as? Ooh, it was definitely on the boys' side again. And I, it was a tie, but I haven't chosen you yet. A slave, come on up here. All right, let's see if you can get some more points. 10,000, all right, that's okay. 60,000, ooh, now that's, you got a lot of points. He's gonna keep going. Oh no, baby! Oh, and the cowgirls get the points! Woo! Oh man, I'm sorry, cowboys. Ah, oh, that's always hard. Okay, you ready? Next question, there's a lot more, don't give up. Who bought Joseph? Let's see, how about this cowgirl right here? Yes, you. Who bought Joseph? <laughs> she, she said toilet. That's kind of another word for or his nickname. Um, that's really close, weirdly. Uh, let's go to a cowboy. Let's see. How about this guy all the way in the back in the black and white? Yep. And gray. Yeah, you're looking all around. <laughs> that's right. We call him Potty. It's Potiphar. Come on up, cowboy. All right. Cowgirls, you got to get that hand on Esther. 40,000! All right. And the cowgirls will still be ahead. Oh! Now that will put you in the lead. But you can... Okay, he's gonna... He's gonna pick, pick a card here. Save! Oh my goodness! The cowboys just took the lead. All right, got another question here. Who did Potiphar... You don't know what I'm going to say. You have no idea. It's a weird question, I promise. Who did Potiphar see in Joseph? He saw somebody in Joseph. How about this little girl with the red glasses? Yes. God, good job. Come on up here. All right. See what she's going to get. 30,000, OK? Oh, she's going to play safe. But, well, they're in the lead anyway, so that's pretty smart. <gasps> safe! 30,000 for the Cowgirls. All right, they're keeping a little lead, but the Cowboys are not far behind. All right, next question. What was Joseph in charge of? Wow, it was over here somewhere. Let's do... You got to sit down or I'm not calling you, okay? That's one of the things. How about this guy in the red bandana? What was he in charge of? The, that's right, the whole house except his wife. Come on up here, good answer. All right, let's see if we can catch up to the girls. Ooh, double, next two. 60, so that's 120. Ooh, that's really good. Is that, that probably make you pass him up. And oh my goodness, you have a lot of points. I don't even know how many. Storm, 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 storm. Go, go, go. Oh my goodness, pressure's on, buddy. Oh, I didn't really want you to get that. I was just trying to get some spirit. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's awful. I hate that. All right, so now the cowgirls have kept their lead. We're back where we were before. All right, next question. This is an easy one. Let's see. All right, gotta be fast. Who was tempting Joseph? Did you see who was first, Miss Lana? Okay. Mrs. Potty, come on up here, cowgirl. Step right up, step right up. Let's see what she's gonna get. Oh, that doesn't count, because you didn't pick any points yet this round. 50,000. All right, now you already have a lead, but it's up to you. Oh, she's going to play safe. Smart girl, smart girl. Go, go, go. Safe! Oh, my goodness, the girls are pulling out a bigger lead. But it's still, it's still doable, Cowboys. It's still doable. You can catch.
catch up. All right, next question. How did Joseph respond? I saw this guy right here. In this, yes, sir, he will. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll go. I'll just go with you this time since he already said it out loud. I was pointing to him. That's okay. I should have said like a red bandana or something. Okay, you can come on up here. This not him right here, the one that answered. There you go, in the camo hat. I need to remember to say what you're wearing or something. All right, come on, get some points for the Cowboys. 80,000. That's a big one. Oh my goodness. 70. Are we sure you don't want to stop? That's, oh, I don't want you to lose all those. 10,000. Oh, oh. What did Mrs. Potty grab? Oh, you were fast in the yellow shirt. His jacket, come on up here, cowgirl. All right. Snake, but no points yet, so that's a good time to pick it. Oh, what's she gonna get? 50,000. It's up to you. She's gonna, she's good. She's getting coach, coach coaching from the side here. Another 50,000 points in the lead. All right, next question. Uh, this is a fill in the blank. I'm gonna say blank and you replace that word, okay? Joseph purposed in his heart to blank from evil. Mm, let's see. How about Kevin? To blank from evil. Joseph purposed in his heart to blank from evil. Five seconds. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Let's come to this side. How about someone having called? How about this little girl in the pink pan bandana, purple shirt? Do you know Joseph purposed in, heart, in his heart to blank from evil? Say it real loud. No. Okay, let's see. This guy in the white hat, right? You're, yes, yes, you. No, that's not the word I was looking for. Which one? No, I would call her Gracie. What's the blank? Joseph purposed in his heart to blank from evil. Now, the one teller. No, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, this is a hard one. This is our theme tonight in the red shirt. It means the same thing, but I'm looking for a specific word in the checkered dress. No! We're good guesses. How about the red-headed boy with his hand way in the air and your red bandana? You, buddy, do you know? Tell me. No, uh-uh, nobody tell him. Oh, back to the cowgirls, wow. In the black shirt, do you know? No! Oh. Oh. Right here, do you know? No! Red shirt, did I call on you yet? Yes. Wait, do you know it? What? No! Depart! Oh my goodness! He knew it the whole time. He's like, pick me! Depart from evil. Double! You deserve that after that. All right, let's see. Oh, 100,000, that's 50, so double the 100, sorry, for the confusion, but he's going again. 10, you can stop any time, it's up to you. Oh, he is brave. 60, okay, let's see what he picks. The past two have been storms, please.
crazy, that's for sure. My goodness, all righty. Now, at this time, Miss Barb's gonna go over there and get ready. We're gonna have a little video for you, a little skit video that we're gonna play. So everybody sit up straight, look it up around here. Ranger Walker, my dad, could not be here this week with us. He is at a camp in Kansas. He's typically here, and uh, he's uh, Ranger Walker and, and leader of the bunch, but um, he is going to be here in spirit tonight. He's going to be on this video for a little bit, and me and little, uh, me and Deputy Doof is carrying on a little bit about working on the range and getting ready to work on the range. So, are we about ready? Get close. I'm trying to fit it to the screen is kind of complicated. If we can turn off these lights, too, I think it might help us um, if possible. All right, there we go. There we go. That's better. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's see if that works. Everybody sit up straight. Listen. Shh, we're still watching the best behave. Well, howdy there, Cowboy. Howdy! We've got a big roundup coming yes, up. Yes, sir. And That's we're right. going to need some help. That's the truth. I mean, good help. That's right. Great help. Ooh, I tell you what, we got a lot of work ahead mm -hmm. of us. We're big going around somebody up. that's big. Yep. Somebody that's strong. Yeah, that's a good one. We're going to need someone that's uh, smart. Yeah. I mean, he's good got brains. his brains about him. That's right, you know. And uh, let's see. We're going to need uh, somebody that can uh, handle a rope. Yeah. Knows how to rope. Yeah, be able to catch them calves and mm -hmm. help us brand them. Yep. And uh, we're going to need somebody that can ride. Oh, yeah. yeah. Handle a horse. That's right. Hit the freight. Yes. Oh, and 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 everything. We need some good hey, help. Hey, 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 what about me? What about me? Could, could hey. I do it? Hey, oh, hey Deputy Doofus. Doofus. That's right. He's yeah. a cowboy. Cowboy. I can do it. Yeah. I can handle it. Yeah. Big or small. Uh, have you got any uh, cowboy experience? Oh, I got lots of experience. I can't tell you how many times I went down to Walmart and I rode them horses that they got out there. Uh -huh. Oh, them uh -huh. corner horses, man, he was fun. Yeah, fun. Okay. Well, well what, what do you know? Well, oh, I know, oh, I know lots. Two plus two is four. Four plus four is eight. Uh, the capital of Nevada is in. Uh, George Washington was the president of Florida. Oh, it was big, big. Wow. Yeah, I know a lot. Oh, I know a lot. Hell. I tell you what. Man, well, maybe we'll give you a chance. A chance? Oh, thank we'll you. We'll give him a shot and, thank you. and see if you can handle it. Oh, yeah, I'll be able to handle it. All right. All right. I'll handle it. Give him one try. See yeah, it works out. <gasps> Pretty doofus. Let's see what you got. I want you to go get a cow, bring it back here, and milk it for All me. All right. I'm going to go get me the biggest, fattest cow I can find. You just watch. I'm going to bring a big one. All right. Go get her. Alright, I got one. I got a big one. Look at this. Look at this cow. You know that is not a cow. It? No. That's jam. But what's jam? He's our miniature trick horse. Oh, he's a horse? Yes. Well, he seemed a little small when I caught him out there in the pasture. I was not able to ride him. I thought that was strange. You know, most of the cows are really big and scary. I you want me to put him back? No! Since he's here, I want to do this. Let's see if you know how to tend the horse. Here, let me hold him. I want you to go get something to brush him out with. Go get something to brush him out with? Yes. Oh, go oh, get oh. something. All right. All right. Brush him out. We gotta make him look good for his performance. All right. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I gotta take it out. No! That's a hammer! Well, I go got get it. something yeah. to brush him hair. Stop it! No, go get something to brush him out with. Brush him out. Brush him out. Okay, okay. Come on, get something. Let's find it. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Look at this. He could he he could have a screw loose somewhere or something. <laughs> you can something to brush him out with. Brush. Brush. Brush, brush, brush him out with. Brush him out with. Okay, alright. Go. Brush him out with. Come on, hurry up! Oh, oh, I found it! I found it! Look, look, look! It's a brush! It's a brush! See? It's got all these teeth in it. That's it. <laughs> oh, you stop it! Take this back. Get something that can get all the dirt and dust all over it. Not oh, a broom. Oh, I thought you. Hurry up! You can get it off the floor with this. Come on. Jesus. Work with toddlers. Would you oh, hurry up? Here we go, look at that! I got me a real cat blower! Oh, stop it! It's a 
can't blow her. Uh, it can also be used to blow me. I get the infinity, but I call it my horse dryer. Horse dryer. See, don't you feel it, Put that thing back. Oh, uh, I'm beginning to think you don't know nothing about tending to a horse. Now come here. Hold champ. I'm gonna grab this. Uh, you got one? Now. Oh! Well, why didn't you say I so? That's a crush. Brush your face with it. Oh, now listen. I am gonna go brush champ. You're gonna brush champ? I'll brush champ. I want you to water it. Me to water him? Yeah. Alright, I'll get the water. Alright, Cowboy DW. Hey, hey, I got the water. Okay, champ, here's your water. Deputy oh. Lewis, what is wrong with you? Oh, uh, 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 nothing. I, uh, tell me water, champ. I see yeah. it's water. When I say water, champ, I will give him a drink of water. Not throw water all over him and me. Oh, you want water, champ? No. Wait, 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 hold it, hold it. Okay, I got some. I hold it. I got something. I got some right here. Here you go. All right, that's uh, the deputy for you. All right, here we go. Uh, Mr. Reddy, you got that list for me? I should have grabbed it to you from me earlier. We have got. <laughs> One young lady who brought the most visitors. She brought the only visitors tonight. Michelle, where's Michelle at? There she is. Let's give her a big hand. Come on down. She gets to play the uh, bullseye uh, visitor dartboard game here. And we're going to see what prizes she gets. We've got bottles of soda over there and chips. And, and uh, all righty. So well, I'm going to read the top three cowboys, the top three uh, cowgirls. Oh wait, that's not true. Uh, there's more. Okay, I'm sorry. I wasn't reading the paper right. I misunderstood, Mr. Reddy. All right, Tanita and Dan uh, Dana and Jalen. If they can come on up here for us, they brought visitors too. Let's give them a hand. I'm sorry, I wasn't didn't read the paper completely. All right, now here are the top three cowboys and the top three cowgirls. For the boys, we've got Johnny W. is in the lead. If you call your name, stand up. David W. and Cameron. Let's give these boys a hand. Good job. All right, go back in. There we go. Now, we've got the three top cowgirls. Is Michelle. She's already up here. And Tanita and Dana, they're already up there. Let's give them a big hand. All right, there we go. Because they already have got, they've already got to play last night. Okay, all right. And that's it. Now, Brother Joe, if you, uh, you've got the, Devin Dukas, you got the drone ready. All right, bring it on up here. Yeah, look at this. We have got a drone here. And this drone right here, uh, you, if you bring the most visitors tomorrow night. All right, boys, hey, sit down. Kevin, sit down. Shh. I'm going to take points off the cowboy side and keep getting up. Now. Don't worry, it won't take your head off, I promise. But we have got some goggles. Do you have the goggles in here, Deputy? Do you have the goggles in here? Okay. We're going to show them the goggles. It's got a camera on that thing. And it, you can we're going to take that, fly it outside, and you can watch it. And you can see what it sees through its camera lens. And you can go for a ride in the sky, virtual reality flight. And uh, see, it go way up in the sky, go all the way around the church. So... Anyway, you can see. Oh, there it is. Bring it up there, Brother Travis. Go ahead and bring it up here. Yeah. This is the goggles you can put on. And you can see what's going on. You put these all over your head, and you can watch and see what it sees when it's flying up in the air. It's pretty cool. And uh, whoever brings the most visitors tomorrow night, whether it be a cowboy or a cowgirl, they get to wear the goggles. All right. So, how many would like to wear the goggles? And that, that, yeah, that's pretty cool. You gotta bring visitors. Whoever brings the most tomorrow night gets to do it. All right, I'll hand this back to you. You can go land that. Thank you, Brother Joe, um, Deputy Dufus. Okay, then, oh, tonight, listen up. Now, the name tonight just read 
We're for the top cowboys and cowgirls. Whoever has the most points on the last night, whether it be a boy or a girl, we're going to give one badge away. We're going to give a deputy badge to the person that brings the most visitors, has the most points overall. That's by bringing the Bible, saying the memory verse, dress Western, bring visitors, bring their gospel band. You get to cut to the front of the line the whole evening with all our inflatables and games. Now, right now there's a, there's a chance of rain. And if there is going to be rain, don't worry. We're going to have stuff inside. We can put up some stuff here so the show will still go on. We'll have the mechanical bull and have a bunch of prizes and stuff. So don't worry. We'll still be doing that. We've got the general store over here. And oh, tomorrow night, you've got a special treat. Tomorrow night, my wife, Miss Barb, is going to be doing her chalk art. She does a chalk talk up here. We'll be preaching a message about Joseph, and she does a chalk art drawing. And there's a hidden picture in the chalk, uh, and you'll get to see that tomorrow, and we're going to give that away. If you bring a visitor this week, you get your name put in for the drawing. All you have to do is bring a visitor. How many visitors you bring, that's how many times your name gets put in the drawing, and we're going to pull that name out of that hat on the last night, and you get to take home that picture with you. It's a full, about a three feet square picture that you can take home, and it's a beautiful work of art, and you can have that if you got to bring visitors, though, in order to win that. So we want to tell you about that. Okay, I think we got, oh, we got time. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to play our Tumbleweed Terminal game. Now, I need you to stay seated. Boys, stay seated. Cowgirls, stay seated. We're right on time. This is perfect. Okay. We're going to get our tumbleweeds here. There we go. There we go. All right. Now, remember, when I say go, we're going to start the, start the uh, tumbleweed toss. You're going to try to get all the tumbleweeds off of your side. You're going to throw them to the opposite sides. You don't want them on your side. You want to get rid of them. You have to stay on your side. All right. Let's all stand up. Stay. Do not stand on top of the chairs. Just stay on the ground. Okay. Stay on your side. Okay. When the music stops, I'm gonna say freeze. Don't keep throwing the balls, or you lose points. Ready, set, let's go.
on to him. Hold on to him. Okay, do we have any? We can tell? Okay. I think it was about two from the boys, and I think about. Did you see? No, girls? I, I saw two go over the boys. So we're going to take 2,000 points off the boys. All right. Okay, hold up the hold, hold up your tumbleweeds. Hold up your tumbleweeds. Looks like the Cowboys won. Good job, five thousand points. Okay, that is what we're gonna do in just a moment, Shh, boys. Just a moment. You wanna take your tumbleweeds? Go to the back, brother Leo. Go ahead, brother Tucker. Go ahead and go to the back. Wait, 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 boys. Hey, stop, stop, stop. I didn't say to go. I'm telling them to go. Okay. Take your tumbleweeds, run to the back, get put them in the corner, get back, sit down. First we'll do that, 5,000 points. Ready, set, go! Get them back to Brother Leo. No, boys, he's not doing it right. Boys, give them to Brother Leo. Paperwork workers that had a best behaved award, you can give them out to the young people right now.